we're going to talk about recovery today and how quickly carnivores seem to recover. Hello everyone, semi-retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet, all things related to the carnivore diet, and miscellaneous odds and ends. As I said today, we're going to talk about recovery. As you can see, we got a little more snow. And as you saw in the last couple of videos, I did a lot of work clearing the driveway and clearing the snow drifts and all that stuff. And we're not going to go super far. I just wanted to talk about recovery because I was, here's somebody that hasn't done their sidewalk at all, so we're not even going to try and go through that knee deep drift. We'll just go back and walk this way a little bit. But it, uh, you know, after yesterday, I'm actually recording this on Saturday, but you guys will see this on Tuesday. But after yesterday, all that work I did to clear the driveway and the walkway, and again, the work I had to do today, that you'll see at the end of this video, I'm going to turn the camera around here just a little bit. That's how big the berm was that I had to dig out by hand, basically. But uh, after all that work, I was exhausted again. But after sitting in the house for a couple hours, watching YouTube, thinking about what I was going to talk about in tomorrow's video, I decided, you know, I did a voiceover on Monday. I'm not going to do that again today. I'm going to get out here and do a little bit more walking on the No Excuses January Walking Challenge. Just for your point of reference, it is minus 9 degrees out here. So I'm not going to go very far. I'm not going to stay out here very long. But I wanted to get out and do just a little bit of a walk to see if I could take this kind of cold. And I can feel it is very cold out, but it's not terrible. If it wasn't for that wind, it wouldn't be bad at all. But as you can see here, once again, I could go down that way a little bit, because as you can see, that's what the sidewalk looks like in front of me trying to go any of those directions. So I'm just gonna turn around and head back up to the house like I said, it's not going to be a long walk. <clears throat> but it's amazing how fast we recover on the carnivore diet. I have talked about this before, you know, when I was working at the miniature golf course prior to this last summer. I'd work a four-hour shift and need two or three days before I felt good again. And now... Here it is, just a couple, three hours after I got done doing the driveway. And I'm out here walking in really, really cold weather. Like I said, it wouldn't be too bad if it wasn't for the, for the wind. But let me know. Have you guys uh, experienced any faster recovery on your journey and I'm not exactly I don't I'm I'm not gonna go I don't have a whole lot more to say about this just how fast I recover but what I'm gonna do turn the camera around and talk to you for just another moment or two before I cue the music so that you can see this winter wonderland that is Omaha Nebraska right now you see it's drifted up and there's a snowbank next to somebody's driveway that's about waist high and this is where I got to before where I decided I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna walk through that so we'll see what happens tomorrow for where I might have to I might actually have to go somewhere to walk. 
we'll see what happens. But anyway, I just find it amazing how good I feel, even after all the heavy work I've done over the last few days. So, that's what I've got for right now. Let's go ahead and cue the music, and I'll show you the little video I recorded of me cleaning out this end of my driveway this morning, as well as redoing all of the snow blowing out here, because it was all drifted up again really hard. I'll show you. There's the... I posted a picture from the other side of my kitchen window. But there's what the outside of my kitchen window and the bushes look like. Doesn't this look like fun? Okay, let's cue the music. And that, my friends, is what it's like to be out here in minus 30 wind chill. Because it's actual temperature about minus 7 right now. And it's only going to get colder as the day goes on. I'm sure I'll record some of this on the inside. Talk to you soon.